One of the things that we're doing with UOCD is changing the definition of engineering education. And in a traditional education, students basically hone and develop their ability to work with technology, to make prototypes, and they don't really have time to engage people. Olin is different in saying, what we need to do is we need to bring people into the process. We need to bring them in early and have them involved all the way through. The class is structured in the spirit of a hands-on, do-learn curriculum like we do at Olin. So it's in three phases. Phase one is an explore phase, which is a kind of anthropological, ethnographic engagement with users off of campus. So that means they need to start with people. And we go through a process to find them a people group. We don't, as faculty, actually find it for them. What they do is they all go out into the world and they interview someone or observe them. They spend some time learning about a particular person and something about their life. This year, students worked with public defenders and legal aid professionals. They worked with librarians. They worked with special educators in inclusive and mainstream classrooms. They worked with museum curators. So all people who tend to work in a kind of civic and societally engaged way, because we also want to give students a, a window into those jobs and into those roles in the culture. Phase two is a collaborative phase where now students have some ideas based on their interviews and they go back for what are called co-design visits, where ideas can start to take shape and take life in those deeper conversations. And then finally, we have phase three, which is a develop phase. So they end phase two with a pretty strong instinct about an idea, and they spend phase three refining and optimizing that idea um, as an idea, what it would look like, how it would operate. It exists still mostly on paper. It's not delivered, but it is um, down to the tiny details. It is a developed idea. So that's the arc of the semester. It was pretty refreshing to be able to use class time to go out into the world and actually interact with people and ask them questions and learn about them. After an entire semester of having co-design sessions and interviews with these people, you really get to know them and develop a relationship with them. It really broadened my perspective and context on what engineering is for and what design is for. I think I ended up choosing Helpline Volunteers because they help other people, and that's something I really value. And I didn't really realize how much of an impact that they had until I was immersed with and talking with this user group. The most challenging aspect of U of CD for my team was phase two, because we had done so much research and we just didn't know where to go. There are lots of ways of processing that information, and those are from very simple to quite you know, complex design frameworks, and there literally are hundreds in the world, and we show them that there's no one right way. And so what we do as faculty often is to help students find their way in the dark, to help them be comfortable with that, to be comfortable with ambiguity, with uncertainty, and so that they will ultimately have the experiences that they can use to support their next experience and their next experience. The challenge, actually, for our students is to figure out what's bold, what's really significant, how can I be ambitious in my process and achieve something that has never been done before. If engineers want to do visionary work, uh, they have to be invited to and, in fact, charged with that bigger, broader mandate. Since engineers have that big responsibility of being technical makers, we have to ask them to think about the best kind of futures that we want, the most inclusive futures that we want. So, so the future is unscripted, so they need practice in thinking in an unscripted way. UOCD is challenging for students when they go through it, um, and they may not see the worth of it in the immediate. But we find so often that students look back and point to that experience as critical in teaching them how to navigate that uncertainty.